Hello, Area 7. In this video, I'll be interviewing none other than your Area Secretary, Vanessa Ramirez. Did you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is Vanessa Ramirez. I am currently a senior at Central High School, and this is my second year partaking in FBLA, and I am currently the Area 7 Secretary. That's really cool. Thank so you. you mentioned earlier that you're the Area 7 Secretary. I know that you've been putting in a lot of work, doing a lot for that. Could you tell me the least favorite part about your officer position? There's not really a lot that I don't like about being an officer. Um, I would say the one thing that I don't really like is that I didn't join sooner. And I feel like have I joined, had I joined sooner, excuse me, um, I would have been able to take more advantage of my opportunities and I would have been able to give more into FBLA rather than just rushing to give it my all in these last couple of months. Yeah, I understand. I definitely don't regret joining as a freshman. So where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, hopefully I'll be graduated from college. Um, I plan on living in Irving, um, continuing my career in Irving and maybe living in the city and just finally starting my life as a young adult. It's really cool. So do, so do you have any advice for underclassmen, both in general or FBLA related? Yeah, of course. In general, my advice to any underclassman would be to not be afraid to take risks. But for a long time, that was one of my biggest setbacks was uh, being afraid of taking risks or being afraid of what other people would say about what I would do or the things that I would join. So definitely don't be afraid to stand out and to take risks and just be your own self because it definitely will take you further than it will to be like everybody else is in high school or like you think everybody else wants you to be in high school. And that kind of like leads into my general advice just be yourself and I know it's cheesy and it's cliche but truly just be yourself and don't be afraid to look for something that's different or out of the norms. Thank you so if you had to go into some other field I know that you're a senior and you're going to be graduating soon and if I'm correct you are going into marketing is that right? Yeah that's right. Yeah so if you had to go into some other field that's not business related what would it be? If I had to choose anything else business related, it would probably be corporate law since it's still in the same business uh, field area. Um, I do like to study and I like to look into deeper details rather than just the big picture. I'm not going to lie to you, I do like to argue. So I feel like that would feed that part of my, um, I guess, downsides of me. So yeah, definitely law. That's cool. Law is pretty cool too. So follow up question kind of going along with the marketing. What event did you compete in this year and why? Um, I competed in marketing this year. And the reason I competed in marketing was because I competed last year um, and we did get to make it to state, but we weren't able to test since Area 5 out tested us, which is, which is okay. This year, I came back better and stronger and with a lot more knowledge. And we are in it to win it this year. That's really cool. Good luck. Thank you. So what's your favorite FBLA memory? My favorite FBLA memory thus far would definitely have to be this year's area. I planned a lot of it and it was just really satisfying to just see everything, you know, lay out and everyone just kind of like enjoying our location. We tried out a new location this year um, in the Advanced Learning Center. So that was really cool to see how it worked. Um, and in addition to that, uh, I just I just really enjoyed seeing everyone there and, you know, just taking a bigger part into it rather than just a member. It was really cool being kind of in charge. So I really liked that. Yeah, I think the area conference, it went very smoothly. It was very well put together. And I'm sure everyone had a blast competing, meeting new people and, you know, enjoying that pizza and stuff. This one kind of goes along with how you talked about how you plan most of the area conference, but how have you changed FBLA and how has it changed Good you? Good question. So when I first got inaugurated as an officer last year, my promise was to make FBLA feel like it was more than just a club. And I feel like I kind of pat myself on the back for that. I feel like FBLA for a lot of people feels like more than just a club now. It's kind of like a safe haven. And it's where a lot of people go, you know, to talk to their friends or a lot of people spend their time with a lot of the officers asking questions. And I feel like we've done a really Really good job um being there for our members rather than just you know being people that oh they're in charge we've done a really good job at being more available to members 
And I feel like FBLA has changed me in becoming more of a considerate no, leader. I see people more as just like, you know, just people giving them tasks. Uh, people have feelings. People have things outside of FBLA. FBLA isn't everyone's life. Um, so definitely being more considerate of a leader. Yeah, I totally agree. So I've noticed this at the area and the local level that um, the officers are very well-spoken and very personable. And they're all great leaders. Can you tell me a bit more about the roles and responsibilities in your position? So being a secretary entails a lot of networking, a lot of socializing. Um, it's definitely not for the people that are a bit of a antisocial. It does include a lot of talking and a lot of getting out of your shell. Um, I've gotten to meet a lot of really great people and a lot of people that uh, benefit KISD in general. It's been really great getting to meet them. And, you know, um, it, I don't know, it's like, it's weird because a couple of days ago when, or not a couple of days ago, but when we had our event, uh, our lock-in, a teacher was like asking us why we were loitering. And I was like, oh, FBLA. And she's like, oh, okay. And she just like, let us go. And it's, you know, cool just to have people know, like know us as, you know, the good kids, I guess. But yeah, being a secretary does entail a lot of socializing and a lot of networking. And it's just great to make sure that our club has that um, pristine legacy left behind, even after we have rotating officers. Cool. Okay. Now this is not very FBLA related at all. But who do you think the greatest artist artist is of all time? Ah, oh, that's a hard question. I, my music's kind of all over the place. I listen to every single genre. Um, I like Kendrick Lamar, but I wouldn't say he's the greatest artist of all time. Personally, if like every single artist just vanished except this one, I think I would be fine. So a Childish Gambino. I love Childish Gambino. So as you... Previously mentioned to me, I'm not sure if you said this um, on this interview yet, but I heard that you work at CAT. So could you tell me a little bit more about that? It's like what you do there, um, how you got your position and how it's sort of related to your personal goals. I would love to. As not a lot of people know, I would assume, uh, Caterpillar moved their global headquarters from Peora, Illinois, <clears throat> uh, to Irving, Texas. And around the months of August, September, our teacher kept on like pushing us to apply to this interview for Caterpillar, or not interview, sorry, internship for Caterpillar. And of course, not all of us were interested since she like kind of threw it out there as like a digital marketing. I know me personally, I just want to do marketing in general, not really stick to one type of marketing. She mentioned that there was different positions available. So I kind of looked into it more. And as I got into the very tedious um, application process, I got to learn more about the company and, you know, about the things that they did. And I got the internship for the marketing position. So my official internship started in around November where I was able to meet a lot of different people in the business world. And it's just kind of been really eye-opening to just be a part of a, such a big company at such a young age. It's definitely taught me that corporate isn't the big, scary world that people believe it to be or perceive it to be. Um, working at Caterpillar is definitely very welcoming. Everyone there is very, you know, sweet. And it doesn't feel like you're working for a bunch of old people. It's great. And it, it does have a lot of really tedious tasks that I have to complete, um, such as like, you know, working on projects with engineering aspects of it which I literally have no clue about anything engineering I think I've learned more about engineering than I would have ever imagined I would have learned this in these past couple of months um, but it's great I've gotten to learn a lot of things that I would have never thought I would need to learn or would ever learn um, and I've gotten to meet a lot of people I did get to go on one business trip I went to Oklahoma with uh, Tommy Moran yeah it was great uh, and he like made it out to seem like it would be like this really long boring day and it was very long it was 14 hours um, but it was so fun because at the end of the day we all just kind of like played golf and everyone just kind of like let loose and it didn't really feel like it was a business type of ordeal so it's definitely great. And for anyone going into business, I would definitely recommend looking into Caterpillar since it's not really in the norms of a typical business world. It's very welcoming. It's very free. And you can kind of like explore whatever you want to do. And it allows you to not just stay with one career that you thought you wanted to do, but, you know, kind of take a test and it kind of places you where they think you would fit best. And then you're you're always able to change, which is another thing that I really like about Cat. And yeah, it's it's really great. That's mm -hmm. all I have for you today. So I really appreciate you um, doing this interview with me. And thank you for everything you've done for our area.
Of course. Thank you, Akanksha. And I know you're going to do great as president this year. Thank you.